when we're using our crosshair ruler, we need to mark our lines in. And the slots have been designed to take a number of different pens. We can use Chaco liners, we can use friction pens, which I like to use, particularly on light fabrics. On darker fabrics, I like to use a Chaco liner white chalk. There's my eight reference lines marked in very easily. I'm now going to turn this ruler, keeping that centre point that I marked in the middle in place. I will turn it so that my reference lines that are drawn on the tool are touching the reference lines that I just drew. I will now draw those lines in. It's only eight lines, so it really doesn't take long. And we have 16 reference lines. And to make 32 reference lines, we are just going to line those reference lines up again, make sure our center's in place. The reference lines are marked at both sides of the tool so that we can check it on both sides. Draw our lines in. These lines will just disappear when I put an iron on it. If I'm doing it with chalk, they will disappear with time very quickly. They will also disappear when I wash them. So it depends on what you are using the quilt for as to what you decide to mark it with. I've just turned the template again so the line is on the other side, sitting on top of our reference lines. Mark another eight lines in here. And this will give me 32 reference lines. So there's my 32 reference lines. All our crosshair rulers work in the same way. Putting, put your marking tool into the slot, mark the slot. Remember to mark that center point because that's used a lot.